Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to get a typewriter typing effect in JavaScript. So we are going to use one library that is typewriter JS and we'll get this kind of output and we'll use it. So let's get started. We need to have a couple of files here. The first file will be index.html. A style sheet. A script file so we need some basic structure here let's add a link to a style sheet add reference to our script file that is script.js and we also need this package so just click on this link and at the bottom somewhere here you will have this cdn link just copy it and paste it here now we'll go to this html section and we'll just copy this part and paste it here that's all what we need now let's add some text here and just to see the output so it will be hello world Let's go to style sheet and here make the background black or blue whatever you feel right in this case I will make it kind of a gray so background color gray select the div element and add the margin top 10 pixel make the font size 30 pixel and text align will be center save it now let's open this file using live server so this is the output now let's make use of typewriter js so we got a basic code here so just copy this much and paste it here i will explain what it actually does so here we are selecting a div element which got the id of app you can see it here just remove this thing we don't need it save it and this is the typewriter object and we take a couple of options in the documentation page you can see we have a couple of options here the first option is strings and you can supply an area of strings here which you want this uh, typewriter js to type out so here let's put strings and let's make it a couple of names okay peter marks just remove this thing we need one more option here that will be auto start to start typing let's put a comma here and make it true save it go to browser you can see it has started typing as you can see after peter marks we are not getting anything to loop it we have to make use of this loop property here and set it to true save it now let's see so it's working fine now let's see more options here so in case if you want to change the cursor style which is a pipe symbol we can change it here we can make it equal let's see save it as you can see we are getting equal sign here so if you want a delay after each character you can make use of this delay option here just copy this paste it here and we'll make it thousand so basically it will be milliseconds so thousand means one second let's see so we're getting a delay of one second after each character let's see what else we have here so we have dev mode so let's make it true to see the output in the console log it's for debugging purpose let's see so this is the output which we are getting here so there is a wrapper class for the span element so if i want to change the color of this uh, text i need to select this class 
typewriter wrapper just copy this and paste it here and let's make the color yellow save it see we're getting a yellow color in case of a cursor you can make use of this class and let's make it green see or let's make it red so we are using these class names in the style sheet but in case if you want to provide some custom class names you can make use of these properties in javascript file so let's uh, make it type text and make it type cursor okay now let's copy this change the class names the wrapper class name which is in case of a span tag so just copy this paste it here for the cursor we have type cursor save it let's see what's the output so we're getting a same output just to re-verify this, uh, we'll make it green. Perfect. Now let's look over the methods. So we have very few methods here. So first method is type string. So you will basically supply the string which you want to type out. Delete all to delete entire text. If you want to delete certain number of characters backwards, you can make use of delete characters method. You can supply the number. If you want some pause, you can supply the pause here you can see after typing the hello world we are having a pause of around uh, two and a half second this function is for the start this function is for the stop and this is for the pause i did not try this thing out but uh, i did test all these functions so if i'll just simply copy this and paste it here and we only need a loop in this case, so we'll not have all this thing, just remove it. So you want to type a string, hello world, you want to pause after that, you want to delete all the characters, then you want to type again. You can also use HTML code here like this. Let me save this and see the output. So it's hello world, we are deleting all the characters, then we are typing another string. They will remove this thing and we'll use HTML. So that's it how you can use typewriter.js in JavaScript. You only need these couple of methods and a couple of options to work with this library. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.